Okay, so here's an exercise I want to talk about that's really great for strengthening your rotator cuff and it can help you prevent um, impingement, shoulder impingement. Um, so a lot of times people think, well, when they're going to strengthen their shoulders, they'll do a uh, shoulder press or, of course, the old lateral raises. Um, sometimes they'll even remember to do a forward raise, a front raise. But there's a lot more to your shoulder than just the deltoid here too. So you want to make sure that you're also strengthening the area around the rotator cuff. And that, especially in pole dance, will help you um, prevent injury because we use our shoulders a lot and we hang from them a lot. Okay guys, for the YTIs, you are going to need something to use as a weight. But, um, it doesn't have to be a weight, it can be something as simple as soup cans because we're going to start really light. This is one that you don't want to go and be a hero on and try and see how much you can lift. This is something that you want to keep light and you'll probably keep fairly light for quite a long time. Um, I've got a 5 pound weight here. I would start with 3 to 5 pounds uh, for the ladies. And if you're a guy, I'd start anywhere from 5 to 10 pounds and see. Um, it all depends on if you have been working out before or these are muscles that you don't really use that much. You should be, but lots of times they're not being utilized like they should. So, um, like I said before, this will help prevent injury and impingement. Shoulder impingement is a really big common injury. So. This will help keep your shoulders happy and safe. So let me go ahead and show you the YTI. Okay, so I'll show you as best I can. I won't be lying on my stomach, but remember, you'll be lying flat on your stomach, so your legs will be back behind you. Your head is in a neutral position, so you're not looking up, you're not looking down, but nice and neutral. And you'll be bringing both arms up at the same time. So this is kind of a three-step exercise. So for the first part, you're doing the Y position, which is exactly what it sounds like. So before you do any of these um, exercises, you want to pull your shoulder blades back. So. If you're just resting, lots of times your shoulder blades are like this. So kind of, your shoulders are forward a bit. You want to pull them in, squeeze them in. Pretend like you're trying to squeeze or hold a ball between your shoulder blades. You want to keep that position the whole time you're doing the exercise. So you don't want to let your shoulders round forward. You want to keep them pulled back, squeezing these muscles. So. You're lying forward, neutral position. Let's start with the Y. Arms are down, shoulders back, and you're going to lift forward into a Y shape, like so. And then back down. And then into a T. So it's out to your sides. Keep a bend in your elbow. You don't want straight elbows. And then the I you can either do, I like to alternate, so, say if I was laying flat, the eye would go directly back, or you could do it directly forward. Like I said, I like to do it both ways. So when you do the eye, have your thumb pointing up. So when you come forward, it's like you're making a thumbs up. The same with when you're doing the Y. And then the T. I point my thumb this direction, this way, instead of up, so this way. So it's to the side, like you're pointing forward for the T, the Y, up, or this way, and then the I is up, or down. So keep those positions when you're doing this exercise. 
And also remember um, that, so say I'm lying flat here, remember that you're not going to let your shoulders fall forward. You're keeping them contracted together, squeezing the whole time. Um, even when you bring your arm down to do the next position, you don't want to let those shoulders relax and fall down. The whole point is you're keeping them tight and together through the whole exercise and through the whole range of motion. You don't want to be jerking up and then letting it fall back down. You want it nice and controlled and then release and then control and release. So it's not a big pause at the bottom and you definitely don't want to rest your weights on the floor and then lift them up. And if three or five pound weights or even soup cans, if they're too heavy, don't worry about it. Just use your own body weight. If you want to do 15 or 10 reps. I like to do a little bit higher reps using less weight. So it would be shoulders back, Y, T, I. I count that one. Y, T, I. That's two. So that's how you count your reps for this one. Um, start with one set and go ahead and work your way up to two to three sets, but start with one. Um, this was an exercise that I used um, to help my right shoulder. I had shoulder problems. I was in a car accident and um, my shoulder bothered me all the time and I would started weightlifting and trying to do you know things like even push-ups it would hurt um, chest press it would hurt so I did all your basic shoulder exercises I could think of and then I came across this exercise and it really helped my shoulder I don't have problems with it anymore and as long as I keep up with the exercises I can you know use it just as much as my left shoulder so they work really really well um, you pole dancers, make sure you do these.